In this video, I'll teach you how to highlight non-present values in a list using conditional formatting. I have a list of confirmed invitees in column A and also an attendance list in column B. What I want to do here is I want to find out which one of these confirmed invitees are not in the attendance list. And a basic way to do this is obviously using a VLOOKUP. However, I don't want to use a formula in this scenario. And I want to do this using conditional formatting, which is much more convenient. And it basically highlights all the values from this list, which do not exist in this list in column B. And here are the steps for achieving this. The first step is to select and highlight the range to which I want to apply the highlightings. The second step is to go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, and then from there select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And now I need to copy and paste this formula, which is currently displayed on the screen, within this box over here. And I'll explain how this formula works a little bit later on. But first, I'm going to click on Format, and I will select a color. I will select this particular color, but you can select any color you like. And the next step is to click on OK. And the final step is to click on OK once more. And as you can observe here, the values within the confirmed invitees list, which are not displayed within the attendance list, have been highlighted in the particular color which I indicated. And we can confirm that this is correct by checking that these three names are indeed not within this list. Now I'm going to move on to explain how this formula works. So this formula uses a count if statement. And for each value within the A8 to A20 range, the count if will return the number of times that the value appears within the B8 to B17 range. For any value in the cells within the A8 to A20 range, which does not appear at least once within the B8 to B17 range, the count if will return a zero number. That means that the formula will return true, and every time a true is returned, the conditional formatting criteria will be applied. And in this case, these three names, which do not exist within the attendance list, are correctly highlighted. And this is how you can highlight non-present values using conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, make sure you smash that like button so that YouTube would recommend this video to more and more people. Also, if you like my videos and would like to see similar videos in the future, make sure you hit subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.